Hi everyone, this is Andrea Corradini. I'm from Italy. I'm a PhD student from University of Trento, currently collaborating with Fondazione Edmund Mach and Sergio National Park. Hope you're all safe in these difficult times and you'll keep up with the good research. I'm going to present to the, at the next IBA. My work is entitled The Effect of Outdoor Activity on Brown Bear Habitat Use the case study of the alpine bear. My study focuses on assessing different types of human disturbance on the alpine bear. Common proxies used to assess disturbance are, for instance, distance from roads, uh, density of roads, or density of human population. These proxies, unfortunately, are not able to capture the full disturbance of humans over the wildlife. Using GPS human mobility data, we derived a new index of human disturbance based on activity, GPS activity collected through phone devices. We call this new index COI, Cumulated Outdoor Activity Index, and we test it on the alpine brown bear population. As you all know, the alpine brown bear population uh, is, was the bears were introduced in early 2000. The population has increased so far but it's still endangered. So the aim of the study is to study the drivers that uh, drive the population, one of which is the human disturbance, which is generally has a great impact on population which are to live in densely human populated areas. So the scope of our study was to test this kind of disturbance. Specifically, we wanted to study how humans affect broadband the use considering common proxies such as distance from roads, distance from trails, distance from forestry roads, density of road, and distance from human settlement. On the other side, we also tested our new index of human disturbance based on human mobility data. What we found in our study was that the human mobility uh, data is what drive the habitat use of brown bear much more than the other common proxies of human disturbance. This suggested that in our study area, human mobility greatly affects the brown bears. This is an important uh, knowledge because the alpine brown bear population has still yet to reconnect with the brown bear population in Slovenia. So this knowledge is critical to the reinforce of the alpine dynamic metapopulation. I hope you will be able to attend my presentation I will glad to answer your question and I hope you can you can join the next IBA. See you soon. Ciao.